Good morning. Thanks for tuning into the Kehila Chari Torah Halacha Review for Thursday morning, October 15th. We're talking about preparing for davening. There is a mitzvah to wash your hands in preparation for davening mentioned in the Gemara and Brachas. Uh, some of us uh, learned, actually, no, with this, we, no, we did come to this. Uh, speaking about uh, Kriya Shema, there it talks about uh, washing hands in preparation uh, for prayer. One who washed hands upon awakening in the morning does not need to wash them again. Uh, as long as they've been washed, and uh, as long as you have not uh, lost focus and uh, touched any part of the body which is normally covered. So if you scratch your head under your yarmulke, uh, for example, or touch any other part of the body that is normally covered, uh, that would require another washing. In most cases, these conditions are not fulfilled, so one should wash one's hands again for davening. Uh, I remember in yeshiva very distinctly, uh, one of our rabbis was walking along, and talking to some people about a, 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 an idea that had come up in uh, the class in the shiur, and he noticed his shoe was untied. So he stopped and he tied his shoe, and he said, wait a minute, I can't continue talking and learning unless I wash my hands. He, has to, he had to go wash his hands uh, with a washing cup before he could continue saying words of Torah. So when you uh, even tie your shoes, uh, it's, uh, it's required to uh, wash your hands before you can daven or say shema or anything else. Uh, also a good reason to wear loafers, just saying. On days when we dive in Musaf, the washing for Shacharis uh, suffices for uh, the Musaf prayer. So in other words, if you washed your hands at the beginning of Davin, you don't need to wash them again for each prayer. Uh, the washing for Mincha is also sufficient for Mairev uh, that usually follows. Sometimes we have a minion in Shul for Mincha followed by Mairev. So there's no requirement to run out and wash your hands uh, in between those two. In either case, if you touch, as we said before, an area which is normally a part of your body which is normally covered, we should wash our hands again for the second davening. If you washed your hands uh, for uh, davening and then you learned a little bit, there was a shear uh, that you joined, there was a discussion in, uh, in some topic and learning that you, uh, that you took part in, uh, you do not need to uh, wash your hands again. It's not considered a, an interruption or anything. You should use a utensil to wash your hands. Maimonides says this, Chai Adam, uh, Minig Yisrael Torah, numerous other sources say this, so you should use a utensil to wash your hands because the water then that pours over your hands is uh, being, uh, is, uh, that's happening with human agency rather than uh, uh, just flowing water out of the tap. So uh, we do our best to use a washing cup and use at least a revius of water, which is really not much at all. That's uh, the, the, the minimum amount we say that you should drink uh, in the four cups uh, of uh, wine at the Pesach Seder. It's about uh, 2.9 fluid ounces, about 89 milliliters or thereabouts. Uh, no need to wash more than once on each hand. Uh, ideally, you should wash the whole hand. If you can't wash the entire hand, uh, just wash up till the third knuckle, up to where the uh, fingers join the hands. Uh, many are, careful, are not careful to wash their hands for tefillah. You should point this out to people. You can wash your hands for davening in a bathroom sink if there is no other option. Additionally, there's a mitzvah to wash your face and rinse your mouth before davening in the morning. Uh, certainly to wash your mouth because you're going to pronounce Hashem's name. You want it to, to be with a clean, with a, a clean mouth. If you get sweated up in the afternoon, let's say you're working, uh, you're putting a new roof on, you're shooting some hoops, whatever the case might be, you want to wash your hands before davening mincha. If you can't uh, do this, you could still uh, say uh, brachas when you wake up in the morning. Some are careful to brush their teeth every morning uh, to remove the, uh, uh, the unpleasant odor from the mouth. Certainly, midas uh, achsidus, commendable practice, and perhaps even a gesture of ahavat Yisrael, of love for another person. Uh, those who understand what I'm talking about, understand what I'm talking about. Okay, please join us again tomorrow. We'll have uh, some more uh, thoughts on this topic. Have a wonderful day.